What's up guys? It's Jamie Messina. A lot of you have been coming to me asking about why you're having digestive issues when you're on the keto diet. Here's the deal guys. Digestive issues can happen when you're on the keto diet or drinking exogenous ketones. But there's reasons for it and ways to adapt. The most common keto problem, which I find interesting because I didn't have it, is constipation. That happens usually if you have a lack of fiber in your diet. On the opposite end, I've also heard a lot of people have issues with diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. Here's the deal. When you change your diet and your nutrition so drastically, it's expected that you're going to have some changes within your movements as well. Making drastic changes to your dietary intake does have an effect on your gut flora and your microbiome. That can cause both constipation and the opposite. What's a microbiome? Basically, your microbiome is a universe of helpful bacteria. Its job is to keep things moving through your system in a helpful way. When that gets thrown off by a change, say implementing a keto lifestyle, the result can be the dreaded diarrhea. Now your microbiome is actually fed by plant foods and fiber which both may be decreased if you're starting on a keto diet. What do you do? Just like with that pesky keto flu, hydration is key. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water and also taking an electrolyte supplement. Also, add some keto-friendly sources of fiber. I personally have added chia seeds and flax seeds into my diet, sometimes in a salad, sometimes in a shake, and both of those things help with regulating your system. Some people decide to take a gentle fiber supplement when they begin the keto diet just to help their body adjust a little. A couple other things you can do is drink hot water with lemon and add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar every morning, which can also help boost digestive function. One thing I do want to address is that many people think it's a problem or, you know, um, that it's making them sick if they're getting constipation or diarrhea. The fact of the matter is, you just made a drastic change to your body. It's now burning fat for fuel versus sugar and carbs. And it needs a little time to adjust. And also maybe you need a little time to adjust some things in your nutrition that will help it out. So I want you to know, don't be worried. And also start to make those changes. Make sure you're hydrated, taking electrolytes, and add some keto-friendly fibers to your diet. As with any change, there are going to be some side effects when that goes on, but it's just your body adjusting. Stick with it, it will pass. Do what you can to subside and keep rocking your keto journey. All right guys, that's it for today. I'll be back here again. If you know somebody that might find this video helpful, share it with them, tag them below, do whatever it takes to get it into their hands. And I'll be back here again tomorrow with another video educating you all on Keto for Beginners. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.